Ernesto pounded Puerto Rico overnight, causing major flooding and sending hundreds of people into shelters and leaving almost half of the island without power. High winds and heavy rain hitting the Caribbean as Hurricane Ernesto churns through the Atlantic. Puerto Rico in the thick of it overnight. Power knocked out for more than half a million customers. In Puerto Rico, there is a particular problem. The vegetation under the lines cause outages to take place. You can see down power poles, scattered debris and fallen tree branches. The governor urging people to stay home as the system moves through with many roads closed due to flooding. This neighborhood underwater, villages isolated because of high river levels. Stay away from the coastal areas, uh, stay safe at home or wherever you are, and keep an eye on the reports of the National uh, Weather Bureau. Island officials also asking people to donate blood because resources are low. President Joe Biden approving an emergency declaration for Puerto Rico, which will help unlock federal funds for the island. FEMA and other federal teams also standing by ready to help. Ernesto also impacting islands to the east of Puerto Rico. Wind and rain lashing the island of Tortola. And off the shore of St. Martin, this cargo ship becoming untethered. Now, Ernesto could become an even stronger hurricane by Friday as it approaches Bermuda. The East Coast is not expected to get a direct hit, but they will see high surf and rip currents. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.